Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dave Alias, and welcome back to Persona. Now, in the last episode, if you guys remember, we uh, we took our shitty little she she sheets, our sh shitty little shit snacks, took our shitty little sheets, and I introduced my shitty little self, and a, a lot of other things. I moved to a new town. It's basically the the same story as the original Persona Four, just with. Even more pronounced tropes, and I love it to pieces. I'm gonna take a drink of water here. It's fancy because it's in a stemless red wine glass. And then he reached into an iron chest, and when he picked the tool he felt was best, then he jabbed me in the slong with a pitchfork that had a sharpened bronze. Oh no! Not the schlong! And that's the story of my first date. My reaction. Attention, all students, an incident has occurred on campus. Please remain calm and evacuate immediately. I wonder what could have happened. Maybe some sharks got in the pipes again. That's the voice I'm giving her. Maybe some sharks got into the pipes again. Uh, Chie, I think you gave me the wrong movie. What do you mean? Well, uh, this trial of the dragon is meant to have a scene where a girl who looks suspiciously like you eats Pringles? Uh, well... <laughs> that movie sounds real. <laughs> oh, oh, before I even had the chance to read it, she just suplexed him. Or no, she just punched him in the face before I had the chance to finish. How dare you accuse me of such false rumors? Don't waste your pity on him, Yukiko. Before you even have a chance to give the player something to read, don't give him the chance to do that. He's only making- he's only good at making it false- He's only good at making false rumors that are false and homosexual. Do you ever- do you hear that, everyone? False and homosexual! Yosuke is both false and homosexual. I, okay, I believe we understand. I do not have any sort of fetish for any brands of potato chips. And I accidentally per went on the dialogue. That was my fault. Wait, so you're staying here for a whole year? Yeah. Yeah. Just because your overprotective mother got scared after you got in a fight with a couple of mischievous guys in your neighborhood? Some exposition for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, just to stay. Let's just stick for that now. Man, that. <clears throat> Sorry. I had a little something stuck in my throat. Man, that must be rough. Where are you staying? I'm staying with my aunt and uncle, of course. Though my aunt's dead. Oh! Oh! That's right. Sorry. Oh, uh. Sorry to hear that. It's no biggie. When you only have one legal guardian, they work a lot. Which means you get a lot of free time to play with fires and stuff. <laughs> Which means you can always commit arson whenever you want. Uh, anyway. This town really doesn't have a lot. It looks like it has a lot of flammable stuff. And by that, I mean it's shit. What kind of- what, but it kind of sucks in a good way, if that makes much sense. Hang on, I gotta- Gotta fix my hair, it's getting in my way. But it kind of, but it sucks in, uh, it kind of sucks in a good way, if that makes much sense. Though one of the few things worth noting is the town's Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. Uh, it's nothing special, really. It's just an odd inn, which happens to have a higher amount of... Uh, I would prefer not to meet stories than any other, in any other inn of all dubbed Japan. All dubbed Japan. Why? Whoa! Sorry, just kick the desk there. We're just bad at choosing employees. <laughs> so tell me, useless, do you think Yukio is cute, hot, or not? Hmm, this is highly objectifying. But if I uh, if I had to choose between hot or not, I would say Yukio is pretty hot. Yeah, if given the chance, I'd tap that in a second. <laughs> well, that wasn't quite the response I was uh, trying to. You're up front, yeah. But that wasn't quite the. I, I was hoping I would just kind of slide in easily. 
ease my way into the conversation is what I was trying to say. Uh, you're up front. I didn't really expect an answer like that. Neither did I. You're both, uh, your seductiveness increased for some reason. Throughout the game, you will be able to engage in certain tasks that will raise your social stats, just like the actual game. Seductiveness, intelligence, and charisma are all social stats that can be ra ra raised, raised by performing certain tasks or saying certain things. These stats are used to perform certain tasks and allow you to choose certain dialogue options. Charisma is used to start certain social links as well as say certain dialogue options and social links. Increasing seductiveness will will make it so most ladies will want to get a chance at a piece of your sexy body. Don't the ladies already want a piece of my sexy body? Don't answer that. And intelligence is used to calculate the results of your school exams. Do I care about school exams exactly in this game? I don't think I would. Get granted the shades. I'm also walking notably slower than the other two. So are they just are we just going to get further and further apart until they're just off the screen and I'll just eventually be walking by myself? Sorry, I'm like getting super thirsty. I feel like she has to be like, See, Yoki's a really popular girl. She has a lot of boys who would go, who would do anything to get on a date with her. Even though it's me, all the boys should want to be erotically licking Pringle flavoring off of. Then she even manipulates boys into doing things for her sometimes by flirting with them. Like one time she told the guy she'll go out with them if she gets a <laughs> chase. Stop it. I couldn't even read all that. I really wanted to. I thought that would, that would probably be interesting. It's not true that I'm popular. It's not true that I'm... Um, that, no. No, she's pop... It's not true that I'm popular or that any boys have committed sacrificial rituals to go on a date with me. I never said anything about sacrificial rituals. Oh. Uh, what was that one boy in my year five classroom who liked me and also uh, thought he was some super dark evil worshiper? He just sort of drew a star on the ground with chalk during break time and then covered his pet guinea pig in ketchup and begged to go on a date with me to the devil. Though, though the pentagram did not end up creating some interest though the pentagram did end up creating some interesting games of hops hopscotch. See, there's the problem. He didn't kill his pet gerbil. Hey, what's all this? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second, are those both housewives? Apparently a high schooler went home early and found the body. Yes, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? She looks like an old man, the one on the left. Damn, a police block. Jesus Christ, who got murdered? A local reporter lady. Wait. A local reporter lady. Now go home and stop questioning police investigations. Question, exclamation, exclamation point. Oh my god. Gee, the police here sure are direct. Someone was... Murdered? Oh, hey, uncle. Uncle Dojima? Dojima-san. Racist. <laughs> hey, what are you doing around here? Uh, just passing through with my two attractive wives. Because we do that, right? Useless, shut up. Play along, I think he's buying it. Wives. Wives. Yeah. Sure. You kids really shouldn't be hanging around here. Uh, we were just on our way home from school. Uh, we told the damn principal not to let any kids through here. Wasn't that a line from the actual game? Wait, useless, you know this guy? Yeah, he's my new dad. No. I'm not. I am Detective Dojima, his uncle, and his legal guardian while he's in Inaba. Inaba! Inaba. Inaba. It's fun to say, Inaba. Just hope you, uh, get along well with Useless. He's kind of... off. Is it the Shades? It's gotta be the Shades. The Shades have gotta be... It's gotta be the Shades. Now you kids head on home. Not now is not the time to be wandering around. Not with the, someone stabbing people 
and hanging them on antennae. And I'm just gonna leave you all unattended. Goodbye. Going back to whatever it was I was doing. I didn't even do what I was supposed to do out here. I came out here for some reason, surpri got surprised by my nephew and his two attractive wives, and then just walked off. It seemed like he had something else to do. Uh, Yuki, I think we should go to Junez some other time. Yes, I think so too. Uh, see you tomorrow, I guess, useless. Yeah. I get the message. You don't want to hang around useless because his dad's a cop. Actually, it's more the fact someone was murdered. Yeah, you don't want to lie. You don't have to lie to me. D do you really not care that someone died? Well, not really. Stuff like that just happens, you know? It's not like it matters all that much. Besides, people normally have a reason to kill. Maybe she deserved it. Uh... Um... Chihei, why'd you have to track the biggest and creepiest person around? Because we had similar music tastes, I don't know how that he'd be like this. You decide to head home. Afternoon. Well, I guess it's... Is it the next day or is it the same day? I'm confused as to this timing. It's raining. Tonight's top story is concerning a bizarre case in a small suburb. Oh boy, turn it up! I'm in this one! Turn it up! Earlier today, a woman was found. Earlier today, a woman was found dead along the Inaba Riverbed, hanging from a large TV antenna. Local authorities are unsure why the body is in such a state. Okay, pause there. Look in the background there. Is that not the one and only me? Actually, I think it's another person with gray hair. You're a dream crusher, Nanako. Fuck you. Fuck you. The deceased has been identified as Mayumi Yamamono, y Yamano, y Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at a local television station. After examinations, authorities have been unable to determine the cause of death. Police are not yet able to rule, the rule whether this death was an accident or a homicide. And if you ask this reporter, that's complete shit ass. I mean, how the hell would she accidentally end up like that? You'd have to have some kind of mo- <clears throat> I mean- a thick fog coming to the area has slowed progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. The report of the story ends, and the program cuts to commercials. They found the body on a roof. That's scary. And that's actual dialogue as well. <laughs> Don't worry. My... <clears throat> Your dad's an ace detective. He'll find the culprit in no time. Unless, of course, he's the culprit. Unless the cul culprit had, like, gloves or something to cover up his fingerprints and could take a while longer then and give him enough time to kill again. Or maybe he had some kind of future gun that can kill people without leaving any way to determine cause of death. Maybe the corpse was left as a signal that he's going to perform several more murders after this. And now the person is going door to door and killing anyone he or she feels like. You realize Nanako is watching an ad on TV and not listening to your rambling. Yo, shit's great at your Junez. Yo, shit's great at your Junez. Nanako is looking at you unexpectedly. Oh shit, what did she say? Um, what's a Junez? Wait, why is there a six-year-old girl cursing at me? What should I, what should I say? You're good at singing. What the fuck is a Junez? Yeah, let's find out what Junez is. What's a Junez? You've never seen a Junez? Well, um, it's this really hot department store with really nice theme song. Nanako seems to have forgotten all about the story and is humming the tune merrily to herself. <laughs> Smooth moves, useless. Yeah, smooth moves. You could save your game by interacting with a bottle of fine French wine. You could perform one of multiple activities in Dojima Residence to pass it on to the next day. Okay, so let's let's go save at this fancy French wine that I have to navigate around a table to get to. Alrighty, Roo! Sweet sauce! So that's all the time I'm able to put into this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Avalius. 
And if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. If you really liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever a new video appears. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, this is off to a beautiful start. Welcome to the Velvet Room. <laughs> what the ass is this? I don't... Oh, no. I don't know what the ass this is.